Pad Love with Pat's Two Cents. I am reading 2 Timothy chapter 2, starting at verse 3 to 7. Thou therefore endure hardness as a good soldier of Jesus Christ. No man that warreth entangleth himself with the affairs of this life, that he may please him who hath chosen him to be a soldier. And if a man also strive for masteries, yet is he not crowned, except he strive lawfully? The husbandman that laboreth must be first partaker of the fruits. Consider what I say, and the Lord give thee understanding in all things. Now, some of you who are striving to please God, there are people in your lives, there are demonic influences that are assigned to distract you all along the way. And your tenacious attitude, here we are back to tenacity again, your tenacious attitude must stop the enemy dead in his tracks. Your tenacious attitudes will not even allow your own fleshly desires to hinder you from meeting the mark. Your tenacious desire to please God will empower you to do whatever it takes to pass every test that comes your way to bypass every hurdle, to jump over every wall, to get over every detour. I mean, whatever Satan will throw up in your way, God will enable you if you are persistent. You cannot afford some of you cannot afford to date right now. Some of you cannot afford to go and party with your schoolmates. You can't afford to party with your co-workers. You can't afford to go out and get drunk with your boss. You can't afford to do this because you must stay focused. You can't please man. You can't try to be everybody's little buddy and buddy up with man while you're buddying up with the devil. You can't do any of that. You will create some enemies. As long as you are determined to obey God, you will, you will end up with enemies. That's a given. Because this world is friends with the enemy more than it is with God. So, you have to decide whose side you're on and who's on your side. And you press in. You do whatever it takes. You press in through righteousness, through integrity, through love, through self-discipline and self-denial. There may be times, there may be nights, there may be hours where you or sitting alone while you know everyone else is having a ball. And you may have to cry your eyes out. You may have to just put yourself to sleep and just forget about it and wake up the next morning and hit the books. You may have to do your researches. You may have to do your due diligence. But you have to do what it takes to get what God has for you. Through hook or crook. You may have to do it through the tears. You may have to do it, oh my goodness, through your fears. You may have to do it through your loneliness. You may have to do it while you agonize to get it done. But you're going to get it done. You cannot allow the nonsense to stop you. You cannot allow detours to pop up through nonsense of other people. No, you can't afford distractions. This is not the time to be distracted. This is not the time to get all hot and bothered, horny and, 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 and sexual right now. This is not the time for that fine hunk or that fine brick house. This is not time for that. And trust me, Satan will set up all kind of little obstacles and all kind of little detours and devices and enticements to draw you away 
from your beaten path. Don't allow it. Don't let it happen. I don't care how fine they are. I don't care how hot and bothered you are. You leave that alone. You stay on task because when it's time for you to have your mate, God will give you somebody that, that'll keep you good, hot, and steamy. Oh, they'll be a perfect match for you in every way, shape, and form. But not now. Not now. You can't play out of bounds and stay in the game. You must stay in the game. As soon as you're out of bounds, the umpire is going to call foul. And you got to go sit down while another team, and no, you can't afford that. You must stay in bounds. You must stay in the game. You must play the game according to the rules in order to be qualified for the finals, in order to be qualified to win. Okay. I think I've said all I need to say on that. I'm sure I beat that dead horse enough. You get my point. Press, study, study to show yourself approved. Show yourself approved. Don't show yourself a fool and be distracted by every little thing. No, you press in. And God bless you as you succeed. Amen. Oh, I hope you heard me. <laughs>